Hey everyone, mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another Dragalia Lost video, and I'm kind of piggybacking off of uh, another YouTuber's video here. This is Demone Kim's video. Thank you so much for your uh, wonderful controller guide. It really helped me get this going. Um, also, thank you to Alex Grain, who is also in the comments there helping us out with LD players. Super appreciate it here. Um, I'm going to show you how to get this going with a controller with LD player, which is the emulator I use. Um, Bone Kim has a guide here for, uh, I believe, Mimu and possibly uh, a couple other emulators as well. Please go to his video for everything but LD player, but this is uh, my way to try to bring this guys to you because this game, god, I cannot even express how good this game feels with a controller. It was made for a controller, and if you think this game is not coming out on Switch, you're, you're confused because holy crap, this is just so good. Anyways, I'm kind of doing this video a little selfishly because I honestly can't 100% figure this out, but I've got it like 95% there to the point where I'm really happy with uh, how it feels and there's a, a couple shortcomings I will explain as we get to them, but I'm able to play around them now and it feels better than on my phone um, outside of a little bit of latency issues that I'm having, uh, but that's not the controller, that is the emulator and my computer while I'm streaming. So to start things off, you obviously need to get LD Player working on your computer. I do have a video guide for that as well. I'll link that in the description below. We're not going to talk about that here, so I'm going to assume you already have that installed. Uh, so first things first, after we get it installed, we've got our instance open here. We're going to click on this top button, and this is the beauty of this is how easy it is in LD Player. Um, you don't need any external programs, you don't need anything at all, it just works flawlessly-ish right out the box. So we click on this keyboard mapping thingy right at the top, we click on gamepad mapping, and this little handy thing pops right up and we're basically done already, it's that easy. We want to go to click, a general touch, and we want to hover that over one of our buttons we're going to be pressing. Also want to hover one over here, we also want to put one right here. Uh, we should also put one right here as well, maybe one right here on our dragon. Um, we're also going to put one just randomly on the screen somewhere, doesn't matter where, but preferably out of our field of vision, somewhere we don't really look too much. Um, we're then going to just fill these in. So when we want to click on this bottom skill, let's just hit square, uh, otherwise known as X, what it inputs it as. We want to do this one, I do triangle, and again PS4 controller is what I'm using on the right side third skill we hit circle this one right here i like to do r1 or something like that uh, and then this one is going to be your regular attack so whatever button you want to mash the most which i use x it actually comes up as a but i'm using x and then this is going to be your dragon shift so i use r2 for that uh, and that is basically all of our key buttons here. We're missing a couple things, like we could set up emotes and everything too, but I'm not going to show you that here. If uh, you watch me do this, you can obviously figure out how to do the rest. Uh, but the important part is, let's just demonstrate here. Um, I'm, I'm hitting X and we're attacking, which is great. The other really cool part is how easy four strikes are. I cannot do four strikes to save my life on my phone, but this you just hold the button down and it works. You can attack, 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 do four strike. 100% of the time it works. I have not figured out a way to aim my four strikes really yet, so that's kind of unfortunate. You can see in the bottom left, uh, it shows where it's always clicking, so that's why that button is put out of your view so you don't get that annoying thing. Okay. Um, so next up is our movement. All of our buttons are hotkeyed. We can hit R1 too, by the way, and that uses Skull Hunter. Cool, 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 Zay. So let's reopen this. Uh, first things first, we want to get move control left joystick and again, doesn't matter where this goes, but I put it out of my field of vision because you're going to see a lot of swiping everywhere. That's right in there. We're also going to put in view and view control and we're going to hit save here. From this point, we're just going to close the app. We've got all of our buttons we really want on here. And just a warning, if you move any of these things after this step, do have to go back and redo this next step I'm about to do. So try to keep these completely in place. If you move them, you're going to screw up your config file and then you have to redo it again. Let's just hit save. Close uh, the application right there. We're then going to go into our Windows directory here. We're going to find Chang Z, mine was in my C drive. 
VN player dash EN. So Changzi DN player. We're going to go to VMS. We're then going to go to customize configs. And this file should be here uh, com.nintendo.zaga. It's a JMP file. If this is not here, it probably means you don't have a profile set up, which is what we just did. So uh, this appears when the profile is made and disappears when it's gone. Uh, what we're going to do is hit open with, right click it, uh, and pick notepad is what I do. Always use the app and then we have it open. Um, so step one I do is hit I think radius and that is set to 1375. What we want to do is change that to about 300 and again this is what uh, the very awesome fellow in Yimon's, uh comments was trying to help us out with to fix our movement. The radius goes down to 300 here and there's one more thing we need to do and I think that is sensitivity yeah, so sensitivity is at 5, and that's not going to cut it. So we're going to set it to 15-ish. I haven't tested what works the best. I just tried one thing, and it seems to work perfectly. So I'm definitely keeping it as that. I then hit save here. And then let's reopen. Um, so all we did was change those two values, radius and I think uh, sensitivity. And what those are going to do is fix how your left and right analog sticks work. Also, side note, if anybody knows how to get rid of this whenever I click on Drag Alia Lost, please let me know. Like, I know I can hide it by F12. I've tried to disable that thing from coming up, and it just keeps coming up and coming up and coming up. Nothing I can do about it, so I just deal with it. Uh, hit F12 every time. Ooh. Interesting. So that's literal just happened, uh, because I just opened this a second ago, and there was no patch. So new patch. Interesting. I really want to know what that is now. Um, is there a new update? Sorry, <laughs> screw the video guys, there might be an update. Data update notice, okay. Uh, please note the game data will be updated. Okay, okay, never mind. False alarm, I thought there might have been something good like a wing fix. Uh, had to pause the video, check that out. So let's go back into events here. I'm going to show you a raid as well, just to show you uh, what it feels like in actual combat. Um, and again, this is one of those things that feels really weird when you just start, but as you get going, as you get used to figuring out what is wrong with things, uh, things get much easier. So let's put, um, let's just put Celery up top. Usually I play this on my alt, um, so I'm used to controlling Celery. Okay, and now after restarting the app and changing all of our configs here, we should have basically complete control here. So if I move my left and right joystick around, I do pretty close to clean circles. Um, maybe I could go like this. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, I can't really move this up much. Yeah, there we go. That's good, right? Uh, you can't see my face. So you can see me uh, super responsive here. And then um, what we do is move the right joystick just like this. And as you can see, it's not quite perfect. Uh, so this is something I need to work on. What I'll have to do to make sure this is right is change my sensitivity. Sometimes we attack, but most of the time we do a dodge. Um, yeah, so that needs to be fixed. Uh, that was working perfectly the last time I set this up. Uh, kind of figures. Um, and we can get a ton of things here killed. And the main problem that I'm hoping you guys can help me solve is actually mainly the movement. Like the movement is flawless, as you can see. It's super responsive, everything's working well. But I cannot attack and move at the same time, and that screws things up uh, pretty badly. I'm able to move like this, and then I have to stop and then attack, uh, which does lose me some DPS, and it also kind of glitches out sometimes. Um, force striking is super easy. You can see how responsive it is here. And uh, yeah, let's move around a little bit, do some more fighting, and then we'll go into the raid just to kind of show you. You can also um, do things mid-combat. You can just see how fluid it is here. And we can turn into a dragon with just the button press. It feels so great. Awesome. So I'm going to have to absolutely fix my sensitivity. Again, this is an experimental thing. Figure out what setting works for you and kind of go from there. So I thought about jumping into a raid and I realized I've been already doing this for 10 minutes so we're going to stop it here. You don't need to see me jumping around like an idiot in a raid. Um, long story short for this, it works out pretty close to flawlessly. 
Even in its downfalls, I think it's better than the current way of using a stylus or using your fingers. It also saves your, your fingers spamming the most as well, since you can just use your thumb for the X button. Uh, some things I would love from you guys if you could possibly help me out. Uh, one of them is try to figure out how to control, how to override what movements take precedence. Like, I would like to be moving with my left analog stick, hit X and have an attack. That's the big thing. I'd also like if anybody has a better solution for the dodging uh, with the right analog stick. I think that's an easy fix of just changing sensitivity around because I did have that working last time perfectly. So I will need to screw with that a little bit. But if anybody has a, a more um, flaw proof, is that the right word? More uh, just a better way of doing things, let me know. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Give. Simone, uh, a follow, a subscribe, a view, all those shenanigans. The link is in the description below. Uh, super appreciate his video and his dedication towards uh, Mimu. Uh, I just love LD multiplayer and LD player. It's just such a good emulator. This is the first game I've used it for, and I'm really, really, really happy to have it in my arsenal now. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.